thoughts. Hopefully, hopefully you do good things. Everybody has a competition in their brain of good thoughts and bad thoughts. Hopefully they win. The good thoughts win. For me, I always have both. I have like the thing I believe, the good thing. That's the thing I believe. And then there's this thing. All right, I got to throw a flag on the play. Uh, I got to call foul. Raise up a little red card. Is that what they do in uh, soccer? Can we please stop fucking trying to dress up the days of the week? If you're on Twitter, I'm sure you're familiar with, uh, what is it, Motivation Mondays or Monday Motivation. Uh, if you're on Instagram, it's uh, Titty Tuesdays. Um, although I don't really have a problem with with Titty Tuesdays. Except for the fact that nobody really shows their titties. I mean, you know, they put, you know, they, they're they wearing like a bikini top or some shit. Um, you know, don't don't say Titty Tuesday and you're not really showing any titties. Because, you know, yeah, I like, yeah, I can see your cleavage. I can see that, you know, you, you probably have some nice boobs underneath that uh, bikini top. But, uh, you know, they're not officially titties until a nipple makes an appearance. Um, you know, Wednesday, I don't even know what the fuck Wednesday is. Wednesday, whip him out Wednesday. I know that, uh, uh, Jim Norton and, uh, wait, was it Jim Norton? It was Opie and Anthony. I know that when they fucking did a radio show or whatever, they used to call it whip him, whip him out Wednesday, <clears throat> which, you know, was just as good as Titty Tuesday, but you know, nobody really did it. Uh, what is Thursday? Turn back time Thursday. And, uh, fuck it Friday. You know, just can we please stop pretending like the days of the week are some fucking magical time? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit grouchy today, but, you know, fucking, I draw the line at, uh, that's another one. Besides raising my uh, my little red fucking card, what do those mean in soccer? Is it like it's like stop? That's what it looks like to me, right? When the ref runs up and puts the uh, uh, the, that fucking card up, it's like stop, please stop. Whatever you're doing, just fucking stop it. Soccer is such a little. It's not even a man's game, is it? I mean, how much of a fucking man's game can it be when, you know, a woman could probably beat you in it? It's not really a man's game, you know? And I know that it's like the most uh, popular fucking sport in the world or whatever uh, next to, I don't know, fucking cricket. What What is cricket? I've tried, like, I watched um, some fucking documentary about this uh, this tribe in Africa that Somehow they fucking, I don't know, you know, the fucking British, right? They're the ones that came up with critic or critic with uh, cricket, right? You know, during one of their fucking colonial uh, explorations of fucking trying to turn the world white. Um, you know, apparently they stopped off in this area and introduced the game of cricket to uh, to these people in Africa and now, uh, you know, they've continued the fucking tradition, except they've added their own little spin to it. Like, the games can go on for weeks, which is really not anything um, uh, unusual for cricket, right? It is the only game that I know of that can go on for a week, two weeks, before it's fucking over, you know? I mean, if you think fucking golf is boring, or baseball, I mean, I love baseball, but, you know, I'll call a spade a spade here. It can be a fucking boring game, especially since, you know, they took all the uh, the steroids out of it. Um, you know, you could end up sitting there for, you know, three, four, five hours, depending on uh, what the score is at the, uh, the bottom of the ninth. Um, but, uh, you know... Fucking imagine having to sit and watch a game for weeks. Although, obviously, they're not, you know, they're not playing, like, 
from morning, you know, they're not up at like fucking midnight still playing. They just continue it the next fucking day. But, you know, it's just like, how can you even get excited about, uh, you know, when somebody scores, when it's like, ah, oh, well, we'll fucking see how it goes, uh, you know, uh, fucking 14 days from now, you know. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah, that they, uh, you know, they put their, their own little spin on it. Apparently, uh, uh, what was it, like, either at the end of the fucking match, um, they break out into this big fucking brawl or some shit, and the losers are killed. Or I, I'm not really 100% sure, but I do know that they, uh, they added a little excitement to, to their game. You know, and you don't see... I mean, I don't know. I don't know if the women play or not. And this is not to shit on women here. I'm just saying that uh, soccer, you know, if if a woman can beat a man at a game, then it's not really a man's game. It's just a game, right? You know, you wouldn't put, uh, you know, a man and a woman in the ring and let them fight it out, or at least, uh, you know, two professional fighters. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do that because it would obviously be unfair. Right, not because men are better, but because men usually are stronger. We have uh, usually more dense uh, muscle structures. Uh, you know, we hit harder. It wouldn't be fair, and really, nobody wants to see that shit anyway. Um, although, you know, there was, I, I've got a couple of uh, ex girlfriends I wouldn't mind seeing uh, getting pounded in the face in the ring, but you know, that's just my own personal shit. Um, what the hell was I talking? How did I end up talking about this shit? Uh, I don't know. I just can we stop naming the fucking days of the week like they're like it's a happy fucking time, especially for people that have like a nine to five. You're really just fooling yourself if you're, you know, if you're really trying to convince yourself that uh, that that going to work on fucking Mondays is is uh is a fucking joy, unless of course. Uh, you know, you've got Tuesday and Wednesday off. Well, then, yeah, yeah, I guess I could understand Monday being a, an exciting time for you because it's, it's basically your Friday. But if you're, you know, if you're somebody that works Monday through Friday, uh, 9 to 5, there's no fucking way on Sunday you're like, I can't wait for fucking mo motivation Mondays. I can't fucking wait to get to, to work and show them how motivated I am to fucking uh, punch keys into a fucking keyboard and make reports and, uh, you know, maybe, I don't know, get a fucking coffee at Starbucks. You know, you're not excited about that shit. So can we just quit with the fucking bullshit? Uh, it is fucking Thursday, by the way, so I guess it's turn back time. How is, are you going to show me some pictures of, uh, I mean, I don't know. Does anybody care? When somebody's like, oh, here's a picture of me when I was fucking eight and missing half of my fucking teeth and, you know, looking some, you know, looking pretty close to what, uh, what, you know, what a creature would look like if a fucking, uh, I don't know, a baboon had sex with a fucking wombat. What is a wombat? It's a funny word, at least to me. Is it, is it a fucking bat? I mean, it's from Australia, so I'm assuming it must be fucking uh, poisonous, right? Because, uh, you know, everything in fucking Australia is... Why do people live there? Why? I mean, you know, is the surfing really that good? Is it so good that you're like, you know what? I don't, I don't care about the fucking sharks that uh, jump out of the fucking water. Isn't that where the, uh, the, where do, like whenever Shark Week is on, right? They always talk about, uh, they call it like air jaws or whatever, you know, and they show like these fucking great white sharks just jumping out of the fucking water, you know, like 10, 15 feet in the fucking air. I don't know. I mean, you've got fucking, you've got great white sharks. You've got the fucking deadliest snakes and spiders You've got fucking yoked up uh, kangaroo that uh, apparently, if you get them mad, will uh, try and disembowel you with their big ass feet. You know, 
I think you got crocodiles as well, right? Somebody please explain to me why the fuck Australia is, is, uh, you know, why is anybody living there? And why, if you don't live there, why are you fucking going there? Why, because you fell in love with Crocodile Dundee and the way he fucking uh, said mate? I don't know. They got some cool cars out there. They got something called a, it's like a, like a, it's like a mixture between like a, a sedan and a fucking truck, which I know sounds ridiculous. I think it's called like a Ute or some shit. It actually looks kind of cool, but you know, I'm not gonna fucking move to Australia to to, to buy one. You know, I'm not even gonna go there to buy one. Even if I, I mean, if I could like import one, assuming that I had the the kind of money it would take to import a fucking car from another country, I might do that. But before I got in it. I'm fucking calling Orkin and having them go through that shit up and down to to fucking spray it down and make sure there aren't any fucking, uh, you know, poisonous uh, fucking creatures attached to it. I don't know, I just, like, in my mind, going to Australia is kind of like, um, I don't know, it would be like going into the run-down fucking scary-looking house that, uh, you know, that everybody fuck, you know, as a kid, everybody, you know, like on, in every neighborhood, there was that fucking house that your parents were like, stay the fuck away from there. To me, it, to me, going to Australia is like going into that house, knowing that there are fucking black widows, uh, rapists, um, fucking, uh, I don't know what what's fucking scary to people uh guys named fucking Brian I don't know um why is Brian scary I don't know I I couldn't think of a fucking weird name I threw out Brian if your name is Brian and you listen to this you know I I just I just say shit okay don't fucking get all offended like I'm Brian I'm not a fucking you know I'm not scary relax George you know that's a name I don't like George and I'm I apologize if you if there is somebody out there named George. Well, it's not that I don't like the name George. It's just a weird name. George. Like like how do you look at a baby and like, you know what? He looks like a George. It's just I don't know. I mean, you know, whenever I hear George, I think of fucking uh the uh who the fuck is it? The the little fucking fat sweaty dude from fucking Seinfeld, right? Costanza. You know, you just, you don't hear too many people uh, naming their kids nowadays George, right? It just, doesn't it sound weird? George. George. Jorge. Jorge is all right. At least you put a little, uh, little spin to it. But if your name is George, <laughs> I don't even know why I say it like that. You know, don't listen to me, all right? If, if you're taking anything I'm fucking saying serious, uh, you know. Don't listen to me. I'm a, I'm a fucking idiot. I am a fucking idiot who is, uh, I don't know. Have you seen that they're fucking, uh, basically fucking Vladimir Putin has become the new, uh, Saddam Hussein, uh, to, you know, to Western society, um, I guess they're, you know, they're now blame. I guess some fucking Russian spy or ex-spy or some shit uh, that lives in London uh, was poisoned with some sort of fucking nerve gas. And, of course, without any sort of investigation, um, you know, uh, what's her name? Fucking, uh, she looks like a, like a fucking, uh, like a bank manager. What the fuck is her name? Teresa May? She, of course, is saying, oh, yeah, this is, you know, this is fucking Putin's handiwork, you know, and of course, uh, Trump is saying it and uh, mainstream media is fucking saying everybody's fucking saying it except for um, uh, who's the, the fucking UK's version of Bernie Sanders over there, fucking uh, Jeremy Corbyn, Corbyn. He's the only one that's, uh, you know, 
I know this isn't fucking interesting. You know, if you're not into fucking politics and shit, then you're just like, eh, who gives a fuck? You know, and I'm right there with you. I really, I couldn't give two shits about Russia or a Russian agent or whether or not fucking, uh, you know, Putin did anything. I, I couldn't give two shits. The only thing I, I, that I care about is the fact that, um, that, that, uh, you know, certain, uh, you know, party members, uh, you know, as far as politicians are trying to mask the fact that, uh, you know, it was neoliberalism and the fact that, you know, fucking Obama, you know, made the banks bigger instead of, uh, doing what they, what he should have done. Uh, you know, this is all just to disguise the fact that, you know, Bill Clinton fucking signed NAFTA into, uh, into existence and the fact that uh the middle class has you know been shrinking for the past fucking uh 30 40 fucking years and the, you know the fact that uh we have the richest country on the planet and yet uh you know like 51 52 percent uh are living below the fucking poverty line making uh you know less than thirty thousand dollars a year it's all just to cover up the fact that uh you know we invaded Iraq, uh, you know, for bullshit reasons, and then Afghanistan, and then that fucking grew to Syria and Libya, and uh, fucking the fact that you know we're we're now you know fucking helping uh, Saudi Arabia basically commit genocide on, uh, to the Yemeni people. You know, it's all just to to sort of gloss over that and pretend that, that that isn't the reason that we ended up with Trump or that, you know, um, life kind of sucks in this country. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's fucking Putin, you know, and what kind of fucking, I mean, is you know, see, this is the thing, right? This is the same thing I say about, about, uh, you know, about the, the, the Democrats that, um, that go along with fucking, you know, giving Trump, uh, you know, eighty eighty billion dollars extra to uh, fund the fucking or to add to the military budget that um, fucking uh, uh, you know co-sign on any of the fucking uh, ridiculously underqualified fucking people that he's uh, you know added to his cabinet that just voted to deregulate the fucking banks. Um, you have on one side you say you know, Trump is a fucking idiot, right? He's an absolute fucking idiot. But then you give him fucking, you know, all the tools he needs to basically become a fucking dictator. You know, with Putin, it's like, oh, he's this fucking mastermind, right? He's just this, he disrupted this, the democracy, somehow 13 fucking, uh, you know, trolls with their kitten, kitten memes, you know, somehow caused Hillary Clinton the election, um, you know, and it's all just masterminded under, uh, under Putin. And then, and yet he, he poisons a, a, a uh, 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 what do you call it? A an ex-Russian spy that's op that openly lives in London with uh, you know some sort of Russian nerve agent. Um, you know, right before the the Russian elections and the World Cup and all that. You know, he does all of this shit that would definitely you know point back to him and make him guilty. And yet somehow he's also the fucking mastermind that caused Hillary Clinton the fucking election. And, you know, just like Trump, he's he's a fucking huge moron, right? And yet somehow he's also like a Russian operative and he's managed to go this entire time with, uh, you know, ev uh, evading being, you know... Um, like, you know, legitimately colluding with Russian to, or with Russia to, you know, it's just, can you make up your mind? Either these people are fucking masterminds or they're fucking idiots. Okay. You can't be both. You can't be a fucking genius. And at the same time, be considered a complete fucking moron. Are you telling me that, you know, that Donald Trump is, what, is he just, is he pretending to be that fucking stupid? 
that he's been pretending to be a fucking arrogant blowhard for, I mean, as long as I fucking have known, well, I don't know him, but you know, as, as far as I've been aware of him since I was a kid, he's, he's just all, he's been pretending to be a fucking idiot, right? While secretly, uh, devising a way to, to, um, you know, remove democracy from, from, uh, the United States, right? You know, and Putin, he's this fucking mastermind that, that, you know, has basically got everybody that, that doesn't like fucking Hillary Clinton on puppet strings. And yet he also fucking, uh, poisons and, an open ex Russian spy with Russian, um, uh, nerve agents. Are, are you telling me that, that that makes fucking sense to you? I mean, isn't it fucking strange that we never talk about, I don't know, Saudi Arabia and the fact that they are basically starving the Yemenis people to death, that that we're helping them uh, basically, uh, you know, commit genocide? Or how about the fact that, you know, they are, as far as human rights violators, they're at the top of the fucking uh, uh, checklist there. You know, how is it, is it, isn't it just a little bit fucking strange that, that anybody that we don't consider a fucking ally is these horrific people that we should go and bomb and, and, uh, you know, uh, obliterate or sanction or whatever, but, but our allies, oh, it doesn't fucking matter what they fucking do. You know, who cares that, uh, that fucking is the, the Israelis are, uh, you know, killing fucking children. Palestinian children because, you know, they don't like the idea of, you know, this fucking uh, group of people that don't, that, you know, really don't have any claim on anything, just coming through their fucking neighborhoods and bulldozing them. I, I love how everybody pretends like, like if, uh, if you woke up tomorrow, right, and I'm sitting in a fucking bulldozer and I just, I demolish your fucking house and I say, well, you know what? it's mine, you know, somebody signed a fucking, uh, you know, a, a tree, not a treaty, just somebody signed some fucking document that, that basically says that your house and your belongings are mine now. I love how everybody pretends like they just be like, oh, all right, you know, go ahead. I mean, if it's, if it's in a fucking document, well, fuck, what can you do? I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm fucking sick to death of fucking stupidity. Now, am I saying that, that, that Putin's definitely not behind this fucking, uh, whatever the fuck it is? I'm not saying that, but, you know, maybe we ought to have a fucking investigation first before you just automatically, uh, you know, turn fucking, uh, I mean, he, like I said, he, he's turned into the next fucking Saddam Hussein, right? We're, we're, didn't we go into Iraq because supposedly Saddam Hussein had fucking weapons of mass destruction that, you know, that turned out to be absolute horseshit. I mean, wasn't the whole reason that the, you know, that everybody got sick of fucking Bush and all of that and, and, and elected, uh, you know, a black guy with a, um, uh, with a Muslim sounding name because we realized how, you know, uh, we realized that fucking George Bush basically lied us into two illegal wars. W weren't we all upset about that? You know, should we now fucking start a war with a superpower, uh, just because the Democrats don't want to really analyze why they fucking lost to a game show host. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody that's listening. It's like, ah, this, he's a fucking Putin puppet. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I am. I'm, I'm a Putin puppet because, you know, I don't want to just run into fucking war, uh, eyes closed with yet another fucking country based on, you know, basically fucking anecdotal evidence, you know, I don't know, people have lost their goddamn minds, and I'm fucking sick of it. Maybe maybe this is why, you know, everybody has uh, decided to try and turn the fucking days of the week into a party. Right? I mean, fuck, you know, you got 
uh, mass murder going on in, you know, in, in your own name, in our names, overseas in the Middle East, we've, you know, we, our, our government is completely corrupted by, you know, uh, by corporations. You've got, uh, you know, a group of, uh, fucking madmen that were supporting actually fucking starving children to death. You know, we got all this fucking horrific shit going on. You know, I could see how Taco Tuesday would sound like a good thing. You know, anything to just take your mind off of the fucking shit show that's going on around you. You know, oh, it's fucking Taco Tuesdays. I guess everything's right in the world. Why am I so angry today? I don't know. How long have I been talking? You know what? I think, uh, I think that's it. You know, I, I think I'm going to stop here. Um, I know it's, uh, it's a little shorter than usual, but you know, like I think what the last podcast on what, what was it? Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever. It was like an hour long. So, or wait, was it? Yeah, I think it was. So, you know, yeah, you're going to get a fucking short one. But, um, you know, if you are uh, new to this podcast, uh, I do a couple of these a week, usually Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, you know, occasionally I'll throw in an extra one or depending on how much time I fucking have. Um, you know, it's it, the the podcast isn't always like this. You know, sometimes... Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I do say something that actually uh, doesn't make me sound like a complete fucking uh, <clears throat> dipshit. But, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, so if you're new, welcome. And if, uh, you know, if you've been listening to the show for any amount of time, fucking uh, thank you for uh, supporting me. Anyway, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Um, it's iffy if I'm going to give you another one tomorrow. But I won't say that, you know, I definitely won't. But if I, but if I don't, um, I hope you have a fucking fabulous, fabulous Friday and a, uh, stupendous fucking Saturday and, uh, I don't know, fucking, um, some other fucking word that starts with S Sunday. Um, anyway, so yeah, fucking, I'll talk to you again either tomorrow or fucking next week. All right. Take it easy. Uh, don't take any shit and go fuck yourself. Peace.